Welcome back. In this video, we'll look at oolong teas. In recent years, oolongs have become very popular, but most people still don't understand what oolong really is. Oolongs are actually between greens and blacks. Oolongs come from the same species as green and black tea, but green teas are not oxidized, whereas black teas fully oxidize. With oolong, it's right in between. You can get oolongs that are very light, but it is still darker than a green, but you can also get oolongs that are similar to a black tea. Uh, so it depends on where oolong comes from. There are four regions that produce oolongs, and the four regions are Taiwan, Anxi County, Fujian, Phoenix Mountain Range in Guangdong Province, and Uyi Mountain Range in Northern Fujian. And we also have an aged Taiwanning here, just to demonstrate how you can age oolong teas as well, similar to Puars. So when it comes to oolongs, there are such a big range. It's so diverse that it's best to look at how they're crafted. Crafting style really determines the flavor. The lightest oolongs tend to come from Taiwan. These are lightly oxidized. When the leaves are picked, they're left to wilt for a short period of time before they're crafted. Crafting style is a roll type because the tea leaves are rolled by machines. Today, the convection roaster is used to dehydrate these very greenish style oolongs very quickly. When the convection roaster dehydrates them, they will keep its freshness. And we usually would vacuum seal them to preserve how green they are. So that's why it's closest to a green tea. Anxi oolongs are a little bit different. Anxi oolongs from Fujian province are a little more oxidized than the Taiwanese style. Though in recent years, they're starting to use a convection oven a little more. So Taiwan and Anxi style oolongs tend to mimic each other. So the one I have on display here, the Iron Goddess Monkey Pig, is about 30% oxidized. So that's the more traditional style of making Anxi Te Guanin. In the middle of the spectrum are Phoenix oolongs. Phoenix oolongs come from Guangdong province, and they're very unique because they're harvested by groves. Each particular mother tree is grafted to produce um, younger trees. So when you have Phoenix oolongs, it's similar to having different varieties of apples, Pippin Apple versus Granny Smith or um, Gra Gravenstein Fuji. Each particular one has its unique flavor. So Phoenix oolongs can taste very fruity, like honey orchid, or it can taste a lot more floral, like uh, honeysuckle, yinghua xiang. Each one is so unique. They, without the grafting, uh, you would not retain its uh, lineage. So in terms of flavors, Phoenix oolongs cannot be planted by seed. Otherwise, there's a bit of deviation in its flavor. The darkest of the oolongs come from Uyi Mountain Range. Uyi oolongs um, come from the same region as Anxi Te Guanying, but Anxi comes from the south and Uyis grow in the north. Uh, this style is twisted. They are um, allowed to oxidize a little more. That's why it gets a darker color, but they're also a bit stronger in the nose because of the charcoal roasting. That's why you have the twisted variety rather than the convection roasted style. Flavor profile wise, uh, Darker oolongs from Uyi are similar to black teas, and most people mistake it for that. Um, while there are four categories here, uh, we also have one unique group that is uh, aged oolongs. Uh, at Red Blossom, we had imported aged oolongs many years ago. Uh, this aged Taiwanese is from 35 plus years of holding here in San Francisco. So you can age oolongs the same way you would uh, with Puars. Aged oolongs are very unique because they have a natural umeboshi flavor. Umeboshi is dry plum. Uh, if they are stored properly, and in our San Francisco Bay Area, we could we have the cooler environment so that we could um, store them similar to you how you would store wines. Uh, you would get that unique uh, dry plum finish. To demonstrate how diverse the oolongs are, I'm going to start with. Um, looking at the flavor profile of each one. So let's start with the um, light one. This is a Formosa one from Taiwan. This is Ali Shan. It's very green in color because it's so fresh um, and it's very light like a green tea. It's very interesting, super bright, very creamy. It's just delicious. 
Uh, a lot of people who drink this tea assume that it is a green tea. But um, I think in terms of the finish, uh, it's much longer than a green tea because it has to do with the elevation it's grown at um, and it's much more complex in flavor. So the next one is the Ansi Teguaning. The brew color is much um, more golden in color because of the higher oxidation is 30%. So you should expect that it's, um, it looks more like a uh, dessert wine, but the flavor wise is nutty. It's a little more floral than the um, Formosa. So you have that um, kind of roasted nuttier finish from the Tie Guan Ying. The Phoenix Oolongs uh, right in the middle. It's more amber in color. and it's real fruity. Um, these particular varieties that we source from come from older growths, so it has a very, very long finish. This is a honey orchid, so it tastes a lot more like lychee fruit, but at the same time, it has that nice floral finish like a jasmine. The darkest one of all is the Uyi. Hmm. So this Uyi one is a little more smoky, uh, than any of the other ones uh, because it's charcoal roasted. It has a really nice round finish. It's one of the richer of the uh, richer flavors of the oolongs. Uh, and this is really very interesting because when I'm picking up the cup, uh, before I even taste it, I can smell the, the roasted um, charcoal flavor of it. It's very um, captivating. It's a lot like uh, having a nice whiskey. So let me compare that to um, an aged one. The color is similar to um, the Amber Uyi because it has aged over time. Mm. Flavor wise, it's a lot like uh, marzipan. It has the dry plum notes. Uh, we have uh, found this particular one in our upper palates uh, a few years ago. So uh, it's been aged for 30 plus years and the flavor is rich and intense, but it lost a lot of its tannins. So when you have uh, teas like an aged oolong, they can age well, as long as it's kept in a cool environment, similar to Pu'er's. So oolong is the largest collection of teas that we offer at Red Blossom. And within each category, there's so many to choose from as well. If you wanna read a little more about the different types, please visit us on our website. And of course, follow us on our YouTube channel.